Uh, let's go to Matrix and open it. Let's see if it records this. Oh yes, it's going to take ages to record it. What we can do in the meantime is look for Alteryx. Weekly challenges. That worked. There we are. Okay, community page. So, where do we go now? Submit your idea. Lord, there you go. Welcome to the okay. Top solvers in the last three days. Okay, so we now have all tricks open. Taking ages, so maybe we should have done that first. Okay, so let's have a look. There we go. Oh, these are all here. Yeah, these are all uh, challenge name. So we got beginner, immediate, intermediate, and advanced challenges. Okay, so maybe we start with beginner. Let's have a look at this one. Preparing delimited data. Let's have a look. Uh, we hope you enjoyed last week's challenge. Uh, solution has been posted here. Uh, for the second challenge, let's look at the removing characters and splitting data into columns based on delimiters. Okay, many products will export textual data as delimiters, such as quotes. This uh, is done so that strings can be con delimited controllers. With them. Yes, I have seen this in uh, SAP. Is particularly bad at using quotes. Uh, uh, as part of its exports. Um, uh, having more than one type of delimiter can be really hard for ETL programs to return. Yeah, so uh, in the input text file, there are two different delimiters, double quotes or single quotes, and they are surrounded by they, they surround different data types. Use all to strip out of these delimiters. Okay, so what we've got here, so uh, we have a start file here, if I can download it and open it, open when done. There we go. Uh, let's uh, close tour. Okay, weekly challenge. Right, okay, so let's have a look in here. Okay, we've got. Uh, What we got. So let's run it and see what we get. Finish running challenge two start file. Okay, right. So we'll look at this. Uh, what do we have? Uh, so Mary had a little lamb. So we have uh, quotation marks and we have commas. Uh, <laughs> this is the, uh, let's have a look at this in there. So we have it split in two. So, uh, usual to strip out the delimiters as superfluous and format the data as presented in the output file. Let's have a look at the output file. Okay, so we've got three columns, text, um, an ID, and a, and a date. Okay, so what we've got in here is a. Let me look at that one. We have a quotation marks, then comma, then a number, then comma, then single quotation marks. Okay, so what we can do here is uh, first of all, um, all textual data. So. We already have the commas here to break the columns, break it into columns. 
So if we bring in text to column, so we can take field one and we can split it into three because there were three columns and we can use the comma, comma to do it. So it's actually giving it to us as default. So let's just run that and see what we get. Okay. Oh yeah. Quick tip. Space gets rid of that. No, it doesn't. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, so here we have field one, which is the original field, and now we have three new fields, which are the text, the number, and the date. However, um, we are uh, still have these quotation marks. So let's remove the quotation mark. So formula tool is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that because we could just do a find and replace. Uh, so on field one, we go in here and it gives you all sorts of different uh, options. A string here um, is what we're looking at. These are string fields. So um, we can just basically do replace character. So replace character then highlights the string. Now a quick tip is that if you use the square brackets here, uh, you can then get the fields up front. So we want to replace the character in the same field that we're in now. Now the character we want to replace is actually quotation mark, double. So if we do single, just to distinguish between it, single and that, and then in here, we will do what we actually want, which is actually nothing. Uh, we get that. Now we keep it as a string. It's chosen 71. We'll keep it as that. And we will run it and see what happens. Okay, so that ran. And then we can have a look. So what we now have is, as you can see, this is highlighted and it's the output that we're looking at. So we look at the impact. We've, we've got the quotation marks there and here we haven't so there you go so um, Mary had a little lamb and so uh, this one is correct so if we go back to this that's fine and then the date has it so in here it is it is an actual date format okay so here it's this um, 16 dash June and then a year so again if we um, go back here and we bring in a formula tool uh, we can do exactly the same thing so click in here go down to the string uh, we do um, if we do uh, we do we could do there's an option a couple of options here uh, uh, anyway we did uh, character didn't we before so um, string was three uh, what we want to replace it I'll do the opposite this time just to distinguish it doesn't Ultra doesn't really care um, so then we have this now we want to we can't change that format type okay so um, that's interesting okay so let's uh, just double check we can't change the format type once of yeah, okay, All right, so let's run that and see what we get. Okay, so let's have a look at the output. So now we have this without thing. Now, do we could just change it to, um, well, we're getting it a bit messy here. Let's uh, just bring these, oh, not that one. Ooh, can I select not the input? I want the browse. There we are. Move them all down, or leave them browse down. Okay, yeah, let's do that. that way. Okay, so now we can um, drop in a select tool, I think might be useful. Um, uh, so on uh, field three, we want this to be a date format. Okay, well, let's run that and see what we get. No. Okay, that's interesting. It doesn't automatically switch it. Okay, so what do we what do we do therefore? Maybe we use um the auto field. 
auto field is here in the preparation scene. Let's drag that down. Actually, before that select, um, uh, we can remove the select now. Okay, turn that up again and run. Okay, so now what have we got? We have this. Now, what does it think it is? Uh, let's, let's just stick in a select. We can see what it is. So it thinks it's a string, which is interesting. So let's have a look and see if we can look in the past tools, which are not actually showing in my version of it. So click on the past tools. We'll just click on I don't need to do this, documentation, that kind of thing. So let's bring those in for now. So in the past tool, date, time. Let's bring in that. And we want to change the field to three. And we wanted, let's just have a quick look, the format. So it's year, month, day. So in here, we want um, year, month, day. Now, if it's double, it's, yeah, that's, I think that's the format we want, isn't it? So, let me just check again. Okay, let's run that and see what we get. Okay, so it cannot convert. Hmm, this is interesting. So what am I, oh yeah, look, we've got it. At the time, day out. It's, okay. Right, so the null, we got null values in here. So that's obviously not working and it's not just converting it. So let's just start again on that one. I think it's a good way of doing it. Now, um, what I think we might need to do is look at the um, date time pass field tools within, within the formula tool. So let's just bring this up. Um, so if we have a look in here, there are some date time uh, pass so um, in here, you have uh, some options to pass it. So let's just click on that. Um, so DT is the what we already have. So um, oh, let's just uh, three, three, three. That's a string. Um, so if we do year, and then we can go uh, to let's do um, I think it needs a percentage according to the instructions actually let's just switch to that so you can, we can see right so we need a percentage and I think um, so there's loads of stuff on the community I'm just having a quick look so date time first my field and then the format that you want so uh, switch back to all tricks and we have uh, data on so my field is let's just stick the field in you want, which is a three, and then the format that you, we want. So, um, so we want a uh, percentage, the format that it is in. So, the format that it is in is this day, so small from the day, then um, it's a uh, dash, and then um, oh, I think I need to put this in quotes. To all to know what it is, um, then another percentage sign, and then there's this funny month thing, which I think is like that, and then that, and then it's just the year, so percent, and then yy, and then close out the thing. Look, it's gone like that, which suggests that it likes the formula. So let's quickly run that, see what we get. Okay, so if I click on here. So we've got null, which is interesting. So what's the format of our data? Before, June, and after. So it doesn't like the MMM, I'm guessing. OK, so I have found um, some lookup tables to help me out. So I found this page on the Community website, which is, uh, didn't take me long, date, time, functions, 
uh, formatting. Um, and if we go down uh, here, it's got some examples of where you can convert it. So actually, where you've got these three letters, it seems to be this uh, percent B. So let's just switch back and change this formula and see if we can change that to B. Okay, and now we run it. What do we get? Okay, so did it work? No. So how do we, uh, does it have to be a date? Why is it, won't let me change it to a date? Um, oh, it's going to be a preview here. I should have realized that. Um, okay, so it's BBB. No. Oh, look at that. That worked. Oh, we only need one. Date, time, year. Okay, so that's now given me the NAT format, which is what we want. Okay. So, that's interesting. Right, so let's run this. Uh, boom. Okay, and we get to uh, the results. And we have one, two, and then date. Now the output that we actually want is poem, poem underscore ID, poem underscore read underscore date. So we can do that in this select here. So we can do poem, uh, we can do uh, poem underscore ID, uh, Um, and then, um, what was it? Poem, poem read date. Okay, so uh, poem underscore read underscore date. Okay, so that changes it. Uh, oh, no, it wasn't that one. It was this one. Poem underscore read underscore date. Okay, and then we'll just delete that one. We don't actually need this file or this file anymore. So let's run that and see what we get. Okay, so we get this. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white. One, two, three, twenty, two thousand and one, uh, oh, 06, 016. And in our father file, we have the same. So there you go. That is challenge to strip out the delimiters for as superfluous and format the date uh, data as represented in the output. So uh, we have we have completed that. Oh, let's just tidy this up a bit. There we go. Right, one workflow done. Okay, so we've completed our um, our challenge. Our weekly challenge and now we just want to save it and put it back into uh, gallery so that we can um, capture that we've created we've, uh, as part of the tracking so we know how many we've done so uh, save this file so save as um, oh, save as um, you could save it in gallery but let's save it in um, uh, locally um, let's change this to uh, completed oh yeah completed and uh, okay, so there's no downloads. I don't really want to put it there. I'll put it in my Alteryx folder. Save. Okay, and there we go. That's now saved. So now we go to uh, the community site. So um, I found obviously the, the challenge where we found the challenge in it. There, there are a number of people who have replied to that. 
Um, so let me just go to the beginning and see. So we had the original, um, uh, original um, thing. So let's uh, reply to that. Uh, and uh, uh, completed. And uh, browse files to attach. Okay, so we'll do that. Go to all tricks. There's my file. Attach it and uh, post. Now that will add us to the uh, tracking and um, it should mean that we are good to go. All right, perfect. So you've completed one and we can get on and let's do some more.